there's multiple ways to drain a tank and the different solutions that people can use involve bee and animals three drain system or a Hoffer GoPro buster, which is hard to say, but easy to type into Google. And I'm gonna talk about the Durso standpipe, and so I have some loose pieces in my hand here to show you how easily it goes together. Now, the standpipe's gonna go into a bulkhead. So it just presses right in, that's it. Then you have a T-fitting. You put a small spacer piece in there, an elbow, a spacer piece, and a cap. That's a Durso standpipe. It doesn't take a lot. It does exactly what you need. The water drains down the pipe and it vents through a hole that's drilled in the cap. Now the rule of the size of the hole is 5 16 of an inch. Now this piece of acrylic right here is a barrier that I use to keep the eels inside the aquarium because I have two little guys that they live in the rock work, but they could hop out because this is a very shallow amount of water, you know, at two inches. So I added a six inch barrier and it's just four walls glued together. I still haven't put a top on it. I haven't seen a need to do so. I had considered maybe putting a flat piece with a hole in the center for the light to shine through. But right now when I wanna feed, I can reach in and use tongs and feed some krill to the eels. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the top just because I wanna show you how the Durso drain works. This is the e feeder. It comes in once a day to drop food in for the clownfish to eat if I'm not around. And it drains down into this little acrylic bracket that I build called the Eheim chimney. And as the food sits there, it won't just flow right into the teeth. It's trapped in that area until it gets wet and sinks down into the water. You can see the flake foods blowing around in the water, giving the clowns a chance to get a meal if they so dare. There's even an eel down low that's sticking his head out because he can smell the food in the water. All right, let me take the Eheim out of the way. You'll see there's a lid on top of my overflow. That lid keeps algae from growing inside the overflow, so it's perfect. It also prevents things from getting stuck against the teeth because the lid sticks out slightly. So if I were floating a bag with like a new item, it wouldn't just block the water from going down. And there's a tiny hole right here that's a vent for my Durso standpipe. Before, when I had a solid piece of acrylic, the lack of a hole, there was like an echo underneath causing a resonance. So you kind of heard a kind of a gurgling. But since I did this, it's gotten much quieter. And I took it a step further. You can see it's kind of dirty. The overflow box has a Durso standpipe and a return line that fit under that polycarbonate lid using polycarbonate prevents the lid from curling upward either from the heat of the light or from the moisture beneath. So that kind of material keeps it nice and straight. And I showed you the hole in the lid and this little riser tube sticks up through there. This is actually some RODI tubing that I use, some black tubing and some Ecotec glue. And I just glued that in there to create a little tiny uh, vent pipe. It, it worked out perfectly and you hardly hear the drain at all. And when the lid's on top, you don't hear it. And I just thought maybe you guys might want to copy that when you set up your own drain. So here's another piece of that polycarbonate. I used it on my entire overflow. And there's four holes for the four Durso drains. And of course my Eheim feeder goes right into a chimney again. It's something I've been building for a while and I sell on my website. And it's a nice clean way to keep everything tidy. Here's what's underneath. I put a little spacer over there to make up for the space of this piece of acrylic. It looks cleaner when it's hidden. And Spock is begging for food, so I'll give her some. Watch, here she comes. Chomp, chomp, chomp. So if you found this information helpful today, please subscribe to my channel. Next week, it will be about feeding, and I think you'll find that very interesting. In the meantime, Happy New Year to everyone, and thank you for watching. This is the Eheim feeder, and it drops in food once a day for the clownfish if I wasn't around to feed. And it goes through this acrylic bracket that I build, and that traps the flake food on the top. And that way, the food won't go straight down through those teeth right there. That was the worst demonstration ever. Nothing came out. <laughs> I'll have to do it again. Eheim!